Hey guys, Jason, Mike, the Escape Room Guys. Welcome to another episode of Interview with the Escape Room Guys. Today we are here in Colorado Springs at Sly Fox Escape with Richard. Nice and, to meet you. Uh, you guys know the drill by now. We're just going to get right into it. So, Richard, how long has Sly Fox been open? Uh, we've been open for just a little bit under three years. Three awesome. years. Very cool. Uh, tell us a little bit about the rooms. We just uh, escaped from uh, Cthulhu Awakens, so let's start with that one. Yes, uh, so we have, th we have three rooms that we have here. Uh, we have Cthulhu Awakens, which you did uh, tonight, which is a soft apocalypse style uh, experience where you have to keep an evil entity from uh, getting out of a box, causing the end of the world. Do the apocalypse version. <laughs> um, uh, we also have uh, Mad Doctor, which is a real fun uh, 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 setting where you're stopping the schemes of an evil scientist uh, who's decided to, to steal all the color from the world. So fun, oh, uh, nice. uh, kind of that fun schlocky... Um, schlocky, black and white, uh, evil scientist type vibe. We haven't nice. done anything like that that I can remember. Ever, yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh, and the, sorry. Uh, and, the, and the third one that we have is uh, Ancient Temple. Mm -hmm. um, you're going into the lost city of Ubacan down in Peru uh, to find the location of the missing Professor Arthur Fact. Nice. Very cool. Uh, so tell us uh, a little bit about how you uh, come up with the design strategy for your rooms. Like what? What makes a room here a little bit more unique than maybe anywhere else? Yeah, so um, uh, so a couple things that I feel like really make us unique. Um, number one is we're, we're very family oriented. Um, there's lots of great rooms that do uh, spooky, scary, um, and that's always always fun to have that scare. Um, we, we do all of our rooms um, in a way that my, uh, my 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 son is seven year my, he was seven when we started. Um, he absolutely loves them. So we do all of our rooms so that you can actually come in with anybody of any age. Um, and really get to enjoy it with, 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 with everyone and not be worried that um, something's going to happen and leave that to the people who do it a lot uh, more creatively than us. Um, the other thing, we like to design things so that there's multiple um, difficulty levels. Mm -hmm. um, like the room you did today was uh, Cthulhu Awakens. You did at the, the expert level. You actually could have accomplished the apocalypse because you, uh, you had plenty of time, plenty of time to finish that. Uh, but for, for most of our rooms, we have three difficulty settings so that when a group comes in, if they want to do beginner, we were able to do some tweaks, or if they want to do expert, or if they really want to do the hardest thing that they can uh, can do with us, they have that option. That's cool. Now, do they have to do that when they book the room, or do they just tell you when they get uh, there? No, we, 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 we do all of that at the door, so when they come oh, cool. in, they're able to say, hey, we'd like to do this. We go in, we make a couple changes, maybe bring a puzzle in, take a puzzle out, switch up the clues, um, so that they're able to get that full experience. Nice. And where do you get your inspiration for some of the stories and themes that you have? Um, uh, 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 TV, movies. Um, we're big. We're big. We're big. Oh my gosh, we're big game fans um, in my house. Um, so we we like all those um, all those tabletop things. Or you know, when we say, hey, this is real fun. Uh, you know, uh, love uh, reading Lovecraft or uh, the, the Call of Cthulhu game or Eldritch Horror, Ar Ar Arkham Horror, Eldritch Horror. Mm -hmm. um, so we say, hey, what, what would that look like in, in one of our things? Um, you know, love those black and white. Uh, love those black and white. Uh, old horror movies, mm -hmm. um, and so I'm saying, hey, how do we do that in a puzzle? Hey, we love, we love Indiana Jones. How do we turn that into, to that? We we always do a Christmas room, so we say, hey, what what's the fun things about about Christmas, and and and, and try to incorporate that into our experiences as well. Very cool. So, uh, what promotions do you have going on right now, or promotions you can give maybe some of our yeah. uh, readers? Um, uh, currently, what we have for uh, for readers for you all. Um, it's ERG 15. It's good for 15% off uh, your escape, whether that's an individual or a group. Um, so we have that going on right now. We'll have that uh, going for probably the next uh, uh, two, two, three months. Cool. Okay, great. So thank you. People can do that. Now, my personal favorite question, uh, what is the most ridiculous, stupid, horrible thing that you've seen happen in one of your rooms or that you've done in a room? <laughs> um... Uh, so I, I, we, we get so many creative uh, we get so many creative people who uh, think that they know what the puzzle is even when uh, when they they got uh, when, when when they don't. Um, my my, fa my favorite though is um, we like to have we don't have any in the room you did but we like to have a couple dress up elements because people love to put things on um, and 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 kind of get into character like that. Rule number four. Um, uh, so we always have people who think that for some reason when you assemble all the items together something is gonna Something's Voltron. gonna happen. So, so like we, we have a lot. Captain of, Planet. <laughs> we, we we have a lot of things in our ancient temple room where where a coat and hat and things like that. And people are like, okay, so we're looking for an archaeologist. So when we put all the items together, he's just gonna pop out of it. 
So we, we, we uh, and that's all we, we have people trying to do all kinds of scarecrow things to try to <laughs> think, 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 think that that must be the answer. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, so what advice do you have for other owners who are, you know, creating rooms or maybe trying to start off creating a location? Yeah, um, I would say, um, I, I would say number one is always think about your guests. Uh, think about who it is you're going to be serving. Think about how it is you're going to make that experience the best for them. Uh, because uh, the, room, the room you do needs to be top, uh, needs to be top notch as best as you can do. But groups will always get their first impression from the smile you give when they come in the door um, and that and they'll they'll remember you with the way that you with the way that you, sh you, you showed them out mm -hmm. um, so so from from top to bottom think how are we doing this for our guests how do we make sure that this experience is the experience that I would want to have going in so if you feel like you have you're building the type of room and the type of overall experience especially if you're building a business around it that you say okay this is how my guest is going to be someone who comes back and does my next room and my next room and my next room because they feel like we're the we're, we're, we're the friendly place we're the we're their pub or we're their their their, their shop we're, we're, they know us and they, they really like to come because we have that bond that goes a little bit beyond just the puzzles inside the room Does that nice? yeah. anything you want to add um just that it was such a pleasure having you both down with us we really enjoyed uh, get, 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 getting to have you, you're an excellent group, um, and it's really great to have you all down here. Yeah, thank you. Thanks so much for having us. And, we'll be back. Uh, yeah, we'll be back to check out your other rooms. Excellent. Right. Uh, this was another installment of Interview with the Escape Room Guys. Thanks a lot, and catch us again soon.